News on this Friday evening. I'm First Alert Meteorologist Dave Turley, and we are looking at a lot of dry, warm conditions as for the rest of our Friday evening. We have one little shower, which we're tracking right now, but I think we're going to keep the rain chance low for a lot of us. Warm again tomorrow. The cooler air arrives coming up on our Sunday. So we go from 82 tomorrow for the high down to 72 on Sunday. Coolest morning will be Monday morning, but then we start to warm it back up with that sunshine in the mid 70s. Today we topped out at 87 warmest temperatures so far this month and the warmest actually since the last Monday we had a high of 90 degrees and we are going to keep it uh, very warm over the next several hours. A lot of 70s going through midnight and you notice we start out with those mid 60s above average into our Saturday morning. Now fair and fair first live radar showing a lot of ground clutter on the radar screen as we zoom on in. We'll have to put this in motion just to show you how quickly those showers kind of popped up here over northern areas of Fort Stewart tried to make its way down into Hinesville, but looks like it rained itself out. And again, I think a lot of us remain dry for the evening hours. We're all very warm. Currently seeing a lot of 80s still across the inlet areas. Claxton and Vidalia are both at 84 degrees. And there's a lot of that warm air here across parts of Texas and to the south, even up the mid Atlantic coastline. We got 70s going on into northern areas of Vermont right now. Couple of cold fronts. They're going to move on through the first one here tomorrow morning. Second one will be the main one, which is going to bring in the cooler weather, and that's going to be arriving in here later tomorrow. So even though the first front moves on through, the cooler air is not going to arrive until Sunday. So a lot of sunshine, cool start, but a milder afternoon on Sunday, and we can see the cooler air filtering in there Sunday morning, pushing all the way down into the Gulf Coast, and that's going to bring a lot of those 40s across the south. I think we're going to see a lot of low 50s here for the coastal regions on Sunday morning. Tomorrow, though, again, right where we should be, going to see highs topping out at 82. We'll keep a 10% chance for an isolated shower. Uh, as the front moves the area, moves through the area and clears the coast. So until about noontime, then a lot of sunshine as we go on through the afternoon hours. So your seven day forecast will see highs in the 70s on Sunday. It'll be dry starting out next week. There's the cooler morning temperatures. We're back in the mid to upper 40s as we start out into the uh, six to seven o'clock hour, but back in the mid 70s in the afternoon. Then the 80s return Tuesday and Wednesday with another rain chance returning with moisture working out of the Gulf of Mexico Thursday into our Friday as we keep those temperatures uh, a little bit above average for this time of the year. By then we'll be in the lower 80s and you can track that next rain chance on the WTOC first alert weather app.